should I be told not to go to Matero by police officers who are getting instructions from Jack Mwimbu? What right has Jack Mwimbu or even Haga Inde himself, what right does he have to curtail my freedom of movement? Today, police officers blocked the road in the vehicle that this gentleman was in and myself. Without telling us what offense we committed, they said, turn around, go back. Go back where? We challenged them, tell us who has given you these instructions. And all they could say, those poor police officers, is, sir, instructions from above. From 14 hours to 14 years. My fellow citizens, we are not going to be intimidated by Haga India or the tools that he's using. I want to inform you that we have ears on the ground. We have our members in Zingalume. They saw police officers surrounding Zingalume ground as early as 2 o'clock in the morning. Now, I want to challenge Grafio Musamba. You said you had security concerns. You had security concerns, and we said, please mobilize your police officers to come and protect us if you have those security concerns. You refused, and yet you have the audacity to bring 500 police officers to surround the ground. You have even the audacity to have even more police officers to block all roads leading to Zingalume. Jack Mwimbu, you are saying no more roadblocks in Zambia. And those roadblocks? And those are illegal roadblocks. Yes. They are ungazetted roadblocks. Yeah. Now, a country where you have ministers who do things without any SI, without gazetting them, is a government of illegality. These are people who don't even know what governance is about. Because before you mount a roadblock, you must announce to the citizens, we are mounting a roadblock at such a place because we're thinking there are thieves who are coming into this area. You don't just wake up and say, because we don't want to go to Matero, you mount a roadblock. <laughs> On a daily basis, people's houses are being broken into. And Musamba, instead of sending the police to go and protect our homes, is sending police to come and stop Rafa Nakachinda and myself and Sylvia Chalikosa and others. I want to say Againde, the level of paranoia that you have entered into is extremely dangerous for yourself. Yes. Now you are starting to even fear your own shadow. Yes. yes. What is karma? And let me warn you, Againde, you are not going to continue to step on the liberties of Zambians. No. Yes. <laughs> to curtail my freedom of movement is to curtail my constitutional freedom. Yes. And you have no right to do it. To stop people from congregating in a country which is a democratic country is taking this country more than 50 years back. Yes. We are not like you when you are in opposition. When you are in opposition, you are defying every instruction. Even when you are called to police, you would go and bring people on busloads from far places just to come and defend you, one person. <laughs> For us in the patriotic front, you will not see us with guards. Even when you arrest us, we come only with a few people come to support us. For you, because you are such a scared man, scared little man, that's what you are. Scared little man. Yes. Scared little man. Now you're even scared of us speaking to the people. So My dear fellow citizens, we in the Patriotic Front have entered this space because we want to continue to speak for and on behalf of the Zambian people.
And that nobody will stop us. Nobody will stop us from doing that. A lot of our members are gathered at Zingalume. Notwithstanding the fact that the police have even brought their big armored vehicles. Huh? Carrying AK 47s against who? Hmm. You want to govern us by fear? You want to govern us by gunshots? <coughs> We had the right, and we still have the right, to hold the Zingarume rally. We have that right. But we are also aware of the instructions that Jack Mwimbu has given to the police. Whoever comes there, beat them up. Maim them so that they learn a lesson. You think we'll learn a lesson by being killed? No. We do not want to bring any of our members in harm's way. I, given Nubinda, acting president of this party, could stay away from that rally. Rafael Nakachinda can stay away from that rally. Emmanuel Mwamba can go and address it. Provincial chairman for Lusaka province can go and address it. If it is us they are targeting, we are not short of leaders. We are not short of leaders. And the ideas that I have are ideas that I share with my colleagues. So even without me, even without Raphael, even without these people, others can go and exchange those ideas with our people. Take note. <laughs> However, I don't want, I don't want any single Zambia any single member of the party to be exposed to the hungry jaws of Haga in the That I will not do. I will not be reckless to take my people to where I know these fellows are planning harm for members of my party. That I will not do. That I will not do. I have said before, of what use is it for me to be a leader at the expense of Zambians? If I bring Zambians into harm's way and they are injured, what message will I have? Of what use will my message be? I therefore appeal to all of those members of ours who are gathered at Singalumi. And the many who are already preparing themselves to come to Zingalumbi, because a lot of members were expecting that the vice president to address the rally at 15 hours. And a lot of people have been calling, we are coming, we are bringing busloads of people. I appeal to all of them. Haga Inde has decided to show us that he's going to use the power of the gun to stop us from meeting. We could go there and break that cordon, but in the process, what will happen? Some of us will be injured. If they could manage to airlift Emmanuel Mwamba, who was alone, what about when we go in our hordes, if we go in our large numbers? I appeal to all our members to go back to their homes. Painfully, but peacefully. If Haraende thinks that he has won, let him hear me right. In war, to retreat is tactic.
I have decided that this rally has been disrupted by force. It has been disrupted because of the intolerance of Hagainde Hijidem. It has been disrupted because Hagainde is fearing that if we start talking to people now in 2023, the exit door might open for him, not in 2026, but 2024. It's already open. It's already open. The day itself, some of us will be trying to get hold of the Inspector General of Police so that he can tell us how he managed to mobilize more than 500 police officers. More than 500 police officers to go and code on the ground when he said he didn't have police officers to protect our meeting. We didn't need 500 police officers. All we needed was just one police officer. That's all. Because on our own, nobody will come and attack us. Attack us for what? And yet we know that today at Zingalume, there were 500 police officers in uniform and there were more police officers in plain clothes and we even met their cadres, their violent cadres. Working with and the police. He says that I have no cadres. The police officers who blocked us were being instructed by cadres. <laughs> we shall go back and we shall dare them. We'll go back and we'll give them the required number of days. And this time, I want to see if again they will say security concerns. Mm -hmm. The beauty is that we have proven beyond all reasonable doubts that the people are hungry to have a rally with us. <laughs> so members of the Patriotic Front, wherever you are hearing me from, wherever you are watching me from, be happy that even without busing anybody, the people are, were willing to come to Zingalume. The people even walked as early as 9 o'clock to Zingalume because they wanted to listen to a party of wisdom. <laughs> and if you think that uh, we will stop Emmanuel Mwamba Rafael Nakachinda use cyberspace we are going to launch our strategic plan whether Hagainde likes it or not we will launch it and we shall continue to mobilize we shall continue to go for rallies and let us see. Now I am going to make sure that I change strategy. Instead of asking for one rally in Lusaka, I will ask for three rallies on the same day. So that you can bring 1,500 police officers to scatter them across the country. Yes. Yes. And let me seize this opportunity to ask all provincial committees. You don't even have to ask us at headquarters. Now start writing to the police to tell them, give them notice that you want to have rallies. Let's have rallies. That's our right. You can't be a good politician if you are scared of opposition. Good politicians are those who encourage oppositions. What you can size each other. Manje you manta president
Are you about to come and rally? We start talking about the BRICS, yeah. <laughs> and we expose him why he went to the BRICS meeting. <laughs> Are you about to start talking about the gold scandal? Yeah. We are not interested. We want to tell the Zambian people our own program. That's what we want. Give us space, Hagaende. Zambians are fed up of listening to you, your lectures only. And the graphs. Huh? Zambians also want to listen to other people, not only you and your graphs, which don't make sense. Yeah. Instead of arresting the economy, instead of arresting inflation, instead of arresting prices of mini milk, you want to disturb us and arrest us. And so it's a weapon. What do you want to see? I want to thank all of those who turned up. I'm extremely delighted when I saw the pictures of the crowd that is at Zingalume, I felt extremely excited. All the phone calls we're receiving about our people already coming into Matero, I felt extremely excited. There is no doubt in my mind that the Zambian people are fed up and the Zambian people want to listen to alternative voices. And we want to assure you that those alternative voices shall be heard. And nobody will stop us. Mm. Ambassador, if my friends have questions for me, or for any one of us, yeah. I'm available. Thank, Thank you, you very you. much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, our colleagues, you've heard our structures have been instructed, mass rallies begin to apply for mass rallies. Mm. The President has repeated, we are going back to Zingalume. We'll give you the details on Monday. Um, are there any questions, members of the press? Yes, please ask the President. <coughs> yes, uh, good afternoon, Mr. President. My name is Matthew from Hotel. Mine is just to, to find out, um, I understand that you were given uh, an alternative date by the is uh, ID that you can hold uh, your rally on the 30th of September. Are you going to go by that now that this planned uh, rally has uh, failed? And also, clarification when you say use cyberspace, maybe you can just elaborate on that. Two questions. Any other question? Yeah, please introduce yourself and ask your question. Okay, I am Kaptura Afias from Kamnet TV. I want to find out. Uh, you did mention that the, the country is integrating into a police state, but this is not the first time we have seen that the, the police has denied the rally to go on by saying uh, security reasons, even during your, your reign. What is your comment on that? Mr. President, I noticed three questions. We can start with um, these questions about alternative debt and use of cyberspace and this question about uh, police using stopping rallies. Let me start with your question. That, uh, you also were stopping rallies. Yes. We were in government and the police the police were giving reasons as to why they did not want a rally to take place. That's what the law says. They would say, for instance, you want to have a rally in Matero on such a day. Sorry, on that particular day, the police will be deployed at another event who will not have sufficient police officers. And if they told us that we went to the police, I spoke to Deputy IG with my colleagues, we said, what are those concerns? Is it that the police officers will be busy somewhere else? And they said, no, we can't tell you. And we said, that's not an excuse. Just to say security concerns is not enough. You must explain, the law says, explain the reason why we should not hold the meeting. 
we appealed to the minister, and the minister says, go and agree on an alternative date. We go to the police and we say, we have come to negotiate, let's talk. Coming back to your question, and they say, we give you 30th September. And we said, no, the alternative to 30th September is 26th August. We want our rally on the 26th August. And they say, for security concerns, give us cogent reasons why. They never did. And true to our expectation, they were just playing monkey tricks because they, today they have proved they had more police officers than are required. 500 police officers, what was security concern did they have? So my friend, when we go back to them, we are setting a debt, not them. Not them at all. They have no right whatsoever to tell us the debt when we want to have a meeting. When we go to them and we tell them we want a meeting on the 2nd of September, then they will tell us 2nd of September is not possible because there's a big meeting, there's a big football match, there's a, a crisis in some part of the country, we're taking all police officers there. Yes, we'll agree. But not just to tell us security concerns. What security concerns there in his head? He doesn't share with us. We can't accept it. No, we can't. Further to your question, my friend, must be judged by his own words. Wherever he goes, whenever he meets white-skinned, long-nosed people, <laughs> what does he say? For the first time, there is most democratic space in Zambia. For the first time. And the first challenge we put to him to prove he fails the test. Amen. The first opportunity we gave to him to prove that there is increased democratic space, he has failed the test. And it's not a question of what happened before. No. It is a question of what is happening now, going into the future. That's what we must be talking about. Cyberspace, my friend. My colleagues are very active on social media. And I encourage them to use social media even more. Let them stop us. Let them stop us using social media and see. We are going to use more and more social media platforms to reach out to our people. But that will not replace our zeal to meet our people in our small little sections, in our branches, in our wards, our constituencies, and also to have mass public rallies. Let them again do what they have done today. And for us, we're being vindicated all the time. When I say police state, what does it mean when police officers can just wake up and say, today, Lubinda must not go to Matero? The police, they just wake up and say, Rafael Nakachinda today must not go to Matero. Isn't that a police state? Because now, I'm not even sure whether when I live here, there will not be a roadblock stopping me from going to my house. Now I'm fearing that wherever I go, the police are watching. And such conduct is only found in police states. In a state where the police are the ones who are telling you, today you can go to Matero, tomorrow don't go. Thank you, President. Thank you, President. Today there were two major events, our rally and the APSACA. The APSACA, Mr. President, uh, protected over 42 kilometers, and you must have seen both traffic and security police officers. The police have enough security to marshal multi events, as done today. Today there were over 500 police officers. Muwanga is challenging all of you to go to the ground. Yes, so, to allow him to go to the ground. I will ask the president and the team to stand, and uh, MCC Kazala to close in prayer. Father God, as heaven, we give you the glory, we give you the honor.